Hey everyone, so one of my awesome subscribers uh, mentioned, it was the time that I was talking about being um, stranded in your car, and they mentioned having a wax, uh, beeswax candle as a way to actually heat you and your car and your surrounding, like that little space inside your car. Um, I, I find it really, really hard to believe that a wax candle, um, even a beeswax candle can produce so much heat to heat an entire car, or even if it's a very small portion of that car or just, you know, your body-ish area. I find it hard to believe, so we're gonna do a little experiment. The way that we're gonna experiment is we're going, we have the candle down there in the pot. We're gonna make, we're gonna experiment in a very small area right now, so it just a pot. So we're just gonna pick, set this, on top. <clears throat> and then we have the thermometer. So right now, wow, it actually is raising like really quickly. Just in the past minute. Wow. <laughs> I think this may be a short experiment. Uh, maybe it's because it's... I lifted it up because we thought it was like kind of directly above it. Okay, now let's let's see if it changes. No, it's uh still rising. Holy crap. Okay, maybe having it sit like that will be a more accurate test. Right now it's at 92 or 91. Yeah, okay. Putting my hand over the candle in general and around that area, it is very very hot. Hotter than it's just a normal soy wax candle. So I'm actually very impressed with the actual heat. And I think over time, it could definitely um, heat a small area. It may take you know, 30 minutes or so, but uh, just from this little experiment so far, I'm pretty confident with it. All right, so it just got suffocated when I had the lid on, even though there is air coming out and it's not sealed or anything. It just wasn't enough air. So we're gonna put it in the pantry a small-ish area and uh, see how it goes in here it is very warm I mean it is hot 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 right here right to about here I mean it's just hot 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 and then to about let's see here I can still feel a good amount of warmth so that's uh that's pretty good I think up here um it hasn't really increased it much in fact it's kind of gone down it was at 74 and it's 71 now and it may take a little while but even just huddling around the candle like this i'm already getting warmer without it having to um heat the entire area just huddling around it and uh, getting the warmth and warming my hands and my face and you know my general head um this is actually really 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 warm the second one keeps going out though it's kind of annoying okay but the heat has actually gone up to 73 from 71 in just the short span that i've been standing here it's actually impressive a couple degrees just from a candle Okay, it's been here about 10 minutes and it's has actually stayed steady around 72. It has not dropped below 70. And that could be in addition with my own body heat, you know, with the candle. I mean, whatever is going to keep it nice and, you know, warm. I mean, anything above freezing is going to be good. Okay, so a couple of things with this experiment. We have to keep a couple things in mind. We're in an insulated house. You know, we're not in a very uninsulated car, you know, where it's 20 degrees outside and the, you know, the cold is seeping into the car. However, in saying that, this candle is very hot. Um, remember when I had put this over it and it was reading in the hundreds? So it's going up very quickly, as you can tell. I'm directly over that flame, 88. I mean, it's over 100 degrees right now. It's 
because I keep taking it. 120. Get it up a little. 130. Anyway, you get the point. Um, when it's when something is directly over the flame, like let's say I'm like, oh, I'm so cold, you know, gotta warm up my hands. Ah, it's actually kind of too warm. Um, you know, you could keep it close to your body and it would actually keep you pretty warm. It may not warm the entire area around you at, or very quickly, even if it does, but it will definitely keep you warm. This is a very hot burning candle. But um, my suggestion is to make it yourself because do you have any idea how difficult it is to find beeswax candles, just straight beeswax, not soy candles all over the freaking place? I could not find any beeswax. This is a homemade candle by um, husband's aunt. So, uh, <laughs> and we have beeswax. So anyway, my suggestion is to buy beeswax and make your own candles and then put those in your car kits or anything else. So. Um, anyway, that's my video for today. It's an interesting experiment. I totally suggest that you try it on your own too. Um, I will definitely be considering putting a beeswax candle in my car now. Uh, thanks for the idea and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Oh yeah, today is video number 350. That means I only have 15 days left. I'm so excited. I don't know my voice because I'm so excited. No, actually, I've had such a blast, but that's going to be another video. I'm going to be talking about this, but I'm just so excited to reach 350. I cannot believe I've done 350 videos. Uh, anyway, almost there. I'll see you later.